channel and another Naruto reaction. Hey guys. Well, today we're going to be doing episode 173 and it's just a continuation of uh, Na story. of yeah. Nagato's story. Yeah. Um, the last we ended up they found the Joni or they found S Jiraiya. Yeah. So. Sani. Sani. Sorry. If you guys enjoy this content go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see all our future uploads. Every Monday, we upload seven episodes for the week on our Patreon. So if you want to binge these episodes before they're aired on YouTube, go ahead and support us both with there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Roll that beautiful Naruto footage. Jutsu! What was that? Raindrops? Slowed down? Bubbles. Like bubbles. What's the bubbles? I'm not done yet. Okay. Over here! Dotty. Sorry, Dry. At least he was alive. Fate had led us right to them. What do you want? We finally found him. Jiraiya Sensei. Huh? Mm. Damn enemies! <clears throat> Run now! Get out of here! Nagato, go! <laughs> But I couldn't truly accept a hidden leaf ninja as a teacher. I'm sure you know what that's like, don't you? Please, will you teach us ninjutsu? You're all ninja mm -hmm. from the hidden leaf, aren't you? Thank you all. This is for you. You go on ahead with Tsunade for now. I'm gonna stay here and look after these three for a while. What? It's the least I can do after what they've suffered. My parents were killed by Ninja of the Hidden Leaf. Thank, thank you, you for, for the food! food! Instant grilled fish, thanks to... But I started to realize that Jiraiya Sensei might be different. Hey, I think I've gotten the hang of fishing, Sensei. Oh, you're becoming more promising all the time. <laughs> The four of us began living under the same roof together. Soon after, a certain incident took place. Incident? <laughs> Yahiko! A renegade shinobi attacked us. When Yahiko was almost killed, that's when I struck out and killed that ninja instead. <laughs> ah! I did it without even realizing. You all right, Yahiko? Talk to me. Uh, it seems I had a special power inside me. After that, Jiraiya Sensei was no longer hesitant to train us and began to teach us ninjutsu. He said that he just wanted us to be able to protect ourselves. But in terms of me specifically, I feel he wanted to help me control the power of the Rinnegan. I convinced myself that what I had done was wrong and became consumed with guilt. But Sensei pulled me from the depths of despair. Is it that incident? That day, when that ninja hurt Yahiko, I was just so angry at him. Everything went blank in my head. I didn't know what I was doing. 
And before I realized it, the guy was dead. After that, I just became so frightened. That hatred, it made me go completely blind with rage. And I killed somebody because of it. I know that it was wrong. It was wrong! Nagato. I don't know. I can't really say whether what you did was right or was wrong. But thanks to your actions, Yahiko is still alive now. You saved your friend's life. I believe that's so always the right thing to do. Path? Before I realized it, I'd accepted Sensei. Then why kill him? Once you've been hurt, you learn what it is to hate. But if you hurt another, you become hated, and you shoulder a sense of guilt. Experiencing pain helps us to grow up, to mature. And growing up means that one becomes able to think for oneself and make one's own decisions. Yeah, why don't you talk to Sasuke, because... Yeah. He, he don't think Jiraiya like that. sensei seemed to be asking himself Not everyone the does, same so question. You can't. Through. But he hadn't figured out a solution either. All I want to do is protect those two, no matter what kind of pain I may be forced to endure for them. I understand. There's so much war and hatred in this world. Sometimes it seems like they're the only things that really exist. I want to do something about it. And I'd really like to know what the answer <coughs> to finding true peace is. Mm. No one knows. Peace comes flowing more then. After we trained for three we years, both decision. my body and soul grew yeah, stronger, mm -hmm. and I felt as if I had matured. But Jiraiya Sensei's words always kept echoing back to me from somewhere deep inside. He told me that he wondered if the solution to bringing peace to the world lay with my Rinnegan. Oh, so give him a big head. Once, a really long time ago, people did nothing but battle. Then, there came a day when a mysterious monk appeared. The first to discover the inner workings of Chakra. Time passed, and Ninshu came to be known as Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu wasn't originally about fighting power. It's a teaching intended to guide people towards peace. That monk was known as the Sage of the Six Paths. He, he possessed the Rinnegan. Yeah. I am he who shall bring peace and order. I think he believed there would come a time when people truly would understand one another and live in harmony. Perhaps, Nagato, you're actually the reincarnation of the Sage of the Six Paths. He... Oh, man. I have a feeling that your that eyes may realize yeah. the hopes of that sage. By telling him all that. Sensei entrusted me with his quest. We started gathering comrades. With Yahiko as our leader, our organization quickly gained fame. Hanzo, the leader of the Hidden Reign, heard rumors of our organization and approached us. He could no longer ignore our existence. He proposed to make us a nexus in the effort to launch peace negotiations between the three great nations. Our power would be used to elicit mutual agreement from all the parties. But that decision would lead us only to misfortune. We were naive children. It was all merely a trap that Hanzo had laid Hanzo? for us. He was paranoid that we were Hanzo. going to steal his power Hanzo. over the hidden reign. Two different people. Yeah. Hanzo's subordinates and the Hidden Leaf's Anbu Black oh, Ops again. were already there. Hanzo had allied with a man from the Hidden Leaf named Donzo to eradicate Donzo. us. Donzo wanted to usurp the seat of Okage. Your organization has become a nuisance to me. Yahiko, you're the leader, so you must die. Resist. And I'll kill her instead. Redhead, use that to kill Yahiko. If you do, I'll spare you and the girl. Don't, Nagato! Forget about me! Just get away, both of you! Yeah, like he's gonna do that. Just kill me. <laughs> All 
All I want to do is protect the two of them. No matter what kind of pain I'm forced to endure. <sighs> Hurry up! Do you want this woman to die? <sighs> useless fighting doesn't stop, then I'll become a god and make it stop! <laughs> he repelled them! <laughs> oh, they were surrounded where she was placed. As soon as he lifted Did her up, him? they went off. Hold on to Yahiko and stay still. Impressive, boy. You escaped even while being hit by my fire-style jutsu. Hmm? You're no ordinary brat, are you? I'm an injutsu! Ghetto statue! Huh? Ah! But that's... you were in the shadows as the real leader. That you possess the Renegon is quite a surprise. Why do you use that dragon? No. Nagata. Teleportation, Jutsu. He teleported right out of there. Damn, I didn't know he had teleportation. Oh, oh. Crackhead. Yeah. Yahiko died. And from then on, I took over as the leader of our organization. Mm. I thought that I had grown up, but nothing had changed at all. I owed Yahiko my life. He gave me my dream. He was an irreplaceable friend for whom I would have given everything. Yahiko's loss. That was my second great pain. Is Naruto gonna say I don't give a shit? What's he gonna do? 
that was episode 173, and yeah. What do you think about that? Crazy. Yeah. Do you understand his feelings now? Yeah. But. Did he misinterpret what Jariah was saying? Yeah, he perceived it differently. Yeah, for sure. And Jariah created a monster by telling him he was going to be the savior of the world. Yeah. And, and then Yahigo told him that, so now he just got, like, his head swell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, we'll see you next time for episode 174. Believe mm -hmm. it.